Hi, it's Kathy Sasiri with an easy origami lotus flower that lights up thanks to a Chibitronics reed switch and a magnetic lily pad base. Rotate the flower like a knob to turn the Chibitronics LED circuit stickers on and off. You'll need a Chibitronics reed switch, four white LED circuit stickers, some conductive fabric tape and fabric tape patches, a CR2032 disc battery or similar, two pieces of origami paper, at least eight inches square, double-sided, a craft magnet, a bone folder, and tape. Let's see how to fold the lotus. Take the origami paper and fold the opposite corners together to make a diagonal crease. Fold and then repeat in the other direction. and fold the edges together to make a horizontal and a vertical crease the same way. When it's done, fold each corner into the center. It's like making an envelope. Now take the new corners and fold them into the center as well. Now flip the paper over and do it one more time. Your envelope is now pretty thick. So use a bone folder or a back of a spoon to press the creases flat. Now unfold the last set of creases and flip the paper over again. This time you'll fold each triangular flap out. Flip it over once more and bring the corners into the center, forming the inner petals. Finally, take the remaining triangular flaps on the back and gently pull them up and around to hold the flower in place. Be careful not to rip the paper as you pull. The next step is to add the circuit. Unfold the flower, take the battery and place it in the center of the square. Trace around it, then set it aside for later. Next, lay out your conductive tape. Positive tape goes around three sides of the square and stops halfway into the fourth side. Move the tape down with your bone folder. Negative tape starts inside the circle you drew for the battery. Then it goes to the first corner and runs along inside the positive tape. Be careful to leave a gap of about an eighth of an inch from the positive tape to avoid a short circuit. This time you'll stop at the end of the third side. The battery goes in the center over the negative tape. To hold it in place, make a loop of conductive tape sticky side out. Press the tape down in the spot for the battery and attach the battery positive side up. Time to add the circuit sticker LEDs. 
Place one LED at each corner with the positive side of the LED running along the positive tape and the negative corner of the LED touching the negative tape. Put down firmly and add extra tape if needed. Then test the circuit by taking an extra piece of conductive tape and laying it between the end of the positive tape and the top of the battery. This is where the reed switch will go. To make the reed switch fit, bend one wire to the side and lay it over the end of the positive tape. Attach it with a conductive tape patch to hold in place. Then bend the other wire over the top of the battery and hold it down with another patch. You can check the reed switch by moving the magnet over it. The LED should flash on and off. Test to see if rotating your magnet changes its effect on the reed switch. You can now close your flower back up. Pull the outer petals up again to hold everything in place. step is to make the magnetic lily pad base. Take a green square of paper and cut a narrow wedge out of one side. Flip it over and fold each corner down. The magnet goes inside one of the corners. Tape the edges closed to make a pouch that will hold the magnet in place. Flip it over so the right side is up. Connect the lotus to the lily pad. Place it over the corner with the magnet. If it doesn't turn on, rotate the flower until the reed switch lines up with the magnet's field. And that's it. Check out the Tribitronics website for more great projects. Thanks!